Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tide Dip and Shoe Guy, and this is the number three review of group number five, Dry Snuff. Now, all these groups, as I always say in these videos, are all on one playlist dry nasal snuff. Okay, this is the fifth group. This is the third review and the final review of an auto product. Okay. The auto line is six products in all. Only three of them are part of this group. The next three will be part of group six. All right. So taking a look at the container, it is a screw top lid. And basically that is everything that's on it. It is a 10 gram container. There is nothing on the back. To give you an idea size-wise, all right, so it just screws off. Now, this one is classic RM. Due to tobacco legislation uh, in Europe, Britain, etc., they have made it that you cannot list flavors, scents on snuff products, which is why it says RM. The RM stands for, in reality, raspberry menthol. Okay? So I'm expecting a high moisture, well oiled, fluffy product. The tobacco inside will be air cured, um, oiled, as I said. Uh, it, they do not use stems for these products. It should be fluffier, sort of like a German product. This is a snuff. Um, and that's about all I know, or all I'm thinking about. So I'm going to open it up. Now it'll be a little tight. You want to be careful, though. So. Should have a plastic liner in the lid that'll register as white. And no, it doesn't. Oh, yes, it does. I'm sorry. All right. So the product is... Oh, it smells good. I'll tell you that. Um, the product is pretty darn dark. All, all of these have been dark. This one is fairly dark, too. That's what it's looking like. In person, it looks a little darker in person. Okay, it's filled all the way to the top. Now, with that last review, I did say because it was more heavily oiled, the last one did not register as full in the can. It's just because what the the amount of treatment they gave the product made it heavier, thus less product in the can type deal. So, carefully trying to do this here. Yeah, it's it's fluffy. It it's fluffy stuff. I you know it's real limited with my equipment. What you can see with these. Plus, I'm trying to like very hard not to lose the whole can. It's clumping. The moisture seems higher in it as advertised. That that's part of this product line. That that that's what it's being put forth as. So I'm going to take the snuff spoon and yeah, it even balls up. I'm not going to take a lot, although I am thinking that this is probably going to be the easiest one of the three that I, I've done to take. Uh, the menthol will ease the use of it. And the moisture in all of them has been good, so... It's got a little bit of a nicotine kick, to tell you the truth. <coughs> really?
It yeah, it's got a nicotine kick on it. Now these products, the Auto Line, they're Germanic in style, like higher moisture oil content. Depend, they're fluffy, and they're higher nicotine. The grinds are made with stem free. All right. This one is actually this is pretty. This is pretty darn good. Minus the seasoning, but I mean, the the last time I did snuff would have been the last review. So whenever that was, a week ago. The raspberry is fairly prominent, and the menthol is a little bit down. Okay, the menthol is not overbearing. Like you do some of the polish products, and the menthol is to an extent that there's so much of it. it's the menthol and the sensation it gives in the nose almost drowns out any other flavoring scent however you want to put it this not so though the menthol is definitely there it's it's not it's definitely present but it does not drown out the raspberry which is a good thing in my mind now what it does drown out is any scent of actual tobacco, which, you know, it is a common thing with menthols. They're easier to take, though, uh, which is a selling point for them. And this, I have always been drawn to raspberry menthol snuffs, partly because the first snuff I ever bought was a raspberry menthol. Um... And I, 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 raspberry mint, that just sounds like a good idea to me, basically. It basically sounds like a good idea to me, and as such at the time, which would have been years and years ago now, uh, I, I really don't know. Could be upwards of a decade, at, at least six or seven years ago. Um, it sounded like a good idea to me at, at that time, and that's why I got it. In fact, you know what? Let me pause this for a second, and I will show you. And I am back. So, Duncan was having a little bit of a uh, nasal issue himself, if anybody heard anything in the background there. This is the first tin of any sort of nasal snuff I ever bought. Alright. It's an old Samuel Gawith 25 gram tin. It is mentholated. The menthol on this was also really good in my mind. It wasn't over the top. Uh, I have not reviewed this product actually yet. Uh, the last couple times I've tried to get it for the groups, they were sold out. So I'm guessing it's fairly popu popular because there's been a couple of occasions that I've tried to get this. A couple of orders I put in at different times and they were sold out multiple times. Um, there is actually product in this. I'm not going to review it though because it's... It could be upwards of a decade old. Um, so, I like raspberry. If you don't like raspberry, don't buy the raspberry snuff. You, you, if you don't like raspberries, then you probably shouldn't shove stuff that smells like one or tastes like one into your nose. Of course, on the other hand, it could be argued that you really shouldn't be shoving anything into your nose. But that's how I roll. I'm kidding. Anyway, um, this stuff, it's good. It's ease of use uh, out of the three. Although I found the first one, the Chancellor, the most unique uh, and very good. Out of the three, this is probably easiest use. Now, the next three that will be part of the next group whenever I cobble together the money to get that group will be uh, Classic AM, which is Apricot Menthol. Classic CM, which is cherry menthol, and Glacier, which is just some sort of crazy menthol. So there are three more auto products coming at some point down the road. Uh, this group that we're in right now does have three more products in it. And they are all from Bernard. Okay, so this is the last auto in this group. And although there were originally supposed to be, let me slide it on over here. 
six products in this group, three Otto, three Bernard. I've just realized that I accidentally bought something else. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I did it, but uh, this is six photo, I, I haven't, I, uh, super Kalash snuff that I evidently saw fit to buy 20 or 25 grams of. So another Indian product. This one will not be going in my mouth. Unlike the last one, if anybody saw that, not that I'm bitter. Um, this, it's retailing just a, a just a shade under 350 a tin for people that want to try nasal snuff. This is the one out of the three. Although, as I said, I found the first one very unique, uh, and I really liked it. And there was nothing wrong with the second one. This will be the easiest of the three thus far to take. They all have good nicotine kick. And that is actually noteworthy because usually with menthol, sometimes you can't tell. Is that the nicotine kick or is that an effect on my eyes and face from the menthol? And it's usually a, a combo of both, but you can't quite tell. This one had nicotine kick that sort of shot through to the front past the menthol. So the nicotine has got to be pretty good, number one. And number two, the menthol is in the correct line or order. The menthol is not overblown. So Otto Classic RM, Raspberry Menthol. Uh, light, fluffy, Germanic. They, I mean, everything they say about this product, and they is toke. Toke. This is a product line by Toke. Everything they say about the auto line thus far has been dead on. No false advertising or anything. It's light. It's fluffy um, in a German style way. The nicotine seems to be really, really good. All right. They come in these screw off top. 10 gram tins running at about $3.40 some cents a can. I got it from MrSnuff.com. I have no affiliation with MrSnuff.com. It's just an online realtor that has all of this stuff under one roof. Uh, a lot of brands. A, a lot. So, if you order from Mr. Stuff, though, do keep in mind you got to put together an order to make the shipping worth your while because Mr. Snuff is on the Isle of Man, which is in the Irish Sea in between England and Ireland. All right. The shipping is not crazy. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not complaining about the shipping at all. It is not crazy. Uh, this last group cost me about ten ninety nine, and was here in six business days with the weekend Amongst them, it would have been eight days altogether. Nothing to complain about there, but you don't want to order just one product, okay? Because then the $3.50 can of auto is $14.50. You don't want to do that, okay? Because the, the shipping does not drop. The $10.99 or whatever I paid is the lowest shipping price because it's airmail, overseas airmail. All right, just be, don't be like, oh, well, I'll buy 10 grams and the shipping will be like two bucks. No, no. The 1099, last I checked, which has been a little while, is the lowest shipping price. It doesn't go lower. All right. And as far as these go, it won't go higher unless you order 12, 15 products. Then it then it goes up one. All right. So again, this has been the review of Auto Classic RM Snuff. Auto is a product line of Toke. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves and God bless.